Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, my lovely children. This is yet another week. Thank you for all you're doing. I hope you're washing your hands, you're staying safe, you're home, wherever you are. So once again, we are here to have a lesson in primary one, and this is a So, we are going to... Uh, before we look at what we have today, I just want us to have a recap of what we looked at last week. Last week, we looked at place values, and we looked at the tens and the ones. We drew bundles of tens, and then sticks of ones. Uh, for example, I remember we looked at, uh, I said tens and ones. We said uh, when we are looking at the tens, one ten is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One bundle, you tie it. And then the sticks, for example, if it is two, that means you draw the two sticks. We looked at examples like um, 50, I mean uh, 24, drawing bundles and sticks of 24. Here, when we talk of 24, we are going to draw, first of all, the bundles of two, of 20. So those are the two bundles, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you tie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You tie. So the four here it is in the place value of ones. Automatically we draw sticks, and this is one, two, three, and four. So this one gives us our place value and uh, drawing bundles of twenty-four. This is what we looked at last week. I remember giving an exercise. I don't know whether you went through it with your parent or your guardian, and I don't know whether corrections were made. So today I want us to look at these numbers here. After do, looking at the tens and ones, the place values, we are going to see how we can expand these numbers here. How can we expand these numbers? We are going to look at expansion. of tens and ones. Expansion, when I talk of expansion, I mean making it bigger, expanding something. For example, uh, uh, when you're baking, when you're, when you're making, for example, bread, after mixing the, the wheat and the, the flour, the, the everything you have to mix, what do you do? You leave it there for like 10 to 15 minutes for it to raise, for it to expand. So that is, we are going to borrow that language, that method, and put it here in our lesson. So we are going to look at how we can expand numbers, uh, especially when it is primary one, I told you, we look at tens and ones only. But when you go further, you will find the hundreds, the thousands, and etc. So here, when I talk of expanding the tens and ones, I have an example like the word 27. When you are given a number like this, and you are told to expand it, to make it big, which numbers were added to make this 27? That's what I mean. Which numbers did they put together? Which numbers did they join together? Which numbers did they add to make 27? As we well know, that 7 is in the place value of 1s. And 2 is in the place value of 10. So we are going to see how can we expand this number. Since this one is in the place value of 10s, this is 2 10s. 2 tens is equal to 20. 20, the tens. So, so that is 2 plus the 10, which is equal to 20. And then 7 automatically remains in the place value of 1s. It, it has no other number added on it. So that means 27 was expanded as follows. Uh, 2 tens and then 7 ones. This one remains as it is. So that means... When I expand it, it will be 20 plus 7. So 27 was expanded, uh, is expanded as 20 plus 7. 
That is how we expand numbers. That means they added 20 plus the 7 to make 27. Thank you. I have another example. For example, if you're told uh, to expand the expand 14. Expand 14. Let's see what we do. This one is in the place value of ones. This one is in the place value of tens. What are we going to do? This one means one tens is equal to the ten now. Because it is one. And then four ones, that one remains as four. So that means fourteen is equal to ten plus four. That is how we expand. Are we together? So, I want us to do two more examples and I will give you a small activity that will help you to understand more of expansion of numbers, more of this expansion of the tens and ones. So, let us look at another example. This was one. Let's look at number two. Expand 35. Expand 35. We well know this is in the place value of ones. This is in the place value of tens. So, we come here and see this is three tens. And what is three tens? That means it is 30. And then five ones, which is five. So that means 35 is expanded as 30 plus five. Because if you add the 30 plus five, automatically it will give you 35. That is what we mean by expansion. How did they derive? How did they get to 35? Which numbers were expanded? Which numbers were made big in order to get the 35? This is what I mean. Let us look at one more example. Example number three. Expand 49. What do we do? Here we go. Uh huh. Let's go. Here is the place value of ones. Then four is in the place value of tens. Ah, uh, what do we do? This is four tens. Four tens will give us the 40. And then the nine ones. This one will give us the nine itself. So therefore, 29, 49 is expanded as 40 plus nine. Just as simple as that. So if you have been following me very well, I want, us, I want you to get your notebook, get your pencil, get your rubber, get your instruments, everything, and we do this exercise together. You can give it to your parent to mark you, or you can put it in your bag. When you come back to school after the lockdown, we can be able to help and guide you. So here we go. Let's look at this simple exercise. You're going to expand for me some numbers in your exercise book, in your notebook, wherever you have been working from. That's where you're going to put these numbers. Exercise. There are just a few numbers. Expand. Number one, 36. Number two, 43. Number three, 15. Number four, 25. Number six, 50. Number seven, um, number seven, 24. Then number 8, 30. I want you to do for me those numbers in your exercise book just right now. 
Don't say I will do the work later. No, sit and expand these numbers in just a few minutes. Or there is also a simple other method whereby I can say dash plus dash is equal to 42. That means which numbers have been expanded to make the 42. Automatically, this one is in the place value of ones and this one is in the place value of tens. That means it is 40, 40 plus two. Then the numbers that have been expanded is 40 plus two, as simple as that. Or if there is dash plus dash, and they are saying um, the answer in which numbers were expanded here to get this. Automatically you will know that this one is in the place value of ones, this one is in the place value of tens, and this one will be two tens and zero one. Zero is a number I told you when it comes to the place values. I know it is nothing, but here it will not be ignored. So that means it will be two. 20 plus the zero. So it is 20 plus zero. Alternatively, if I say dash plus dash equals six, I want you to look at this here. Dash plus dash, let me put it up. Dash plus dash equals to six. It has only one digit. That means that one digit is in the place value of ones. Remember, we always start with ones before going to any other number. So this one automatically is in the place value of ones. So here it will be, we have no 10, so that means it is a zero plus a six, giving us six. It has also been expanded. So I want you to do for me these numbers. In fact, let me add number nine. Number nine, expand for me. Three, just as it is. Three, you expand it. Otherwise, thank you very much for this.